Okay, number 26. Now, this is what the communists say. They present homosexuality, degeneracy, and promiscuity as normal, healthy, um, natural, and healthy. Well, we've been, you know, taught that um, homosexuality is natural and healthy, but it's not God's original design, although God loves um, everybody. Um, that's not how he created people. That's how Satan, you know, wants people to be, but that's not how God wants people to be. That's not how he created it. That's not the best for them. Um, but anyway, just even here on the communist, um, you know, manifesto, you know, this is probably the biggest thing that we have going on right now in our public school system is pushing this political correct agenda. Um, homosexuality, degeneracy, and promiscuity is normal and natural and healthy. Um, that's what the communists have have promoted. Infiltrate the churches and replace revealed religion with social religion. Discredit the Bible and emphasize the need for intellectual maturity that does not need religious a religious crush. So um, they've done a good job of that. Some of the churches have been infiltrated. Some of the um, big preachers that you see preaching on TV. Um, you know, I, I know, you know, I've heard of a couple of names that are absolutely um, um, promoting communism, and that's, that's actually what they're there to do, you know, in the name of God, you know, and they, um, so this is actually being done, and a lot of people are um, believing it. So it really, it, it really gets down to, um, are we going to believe this communist agenda, or are we going to believe the Bible is really what it, what it gets down to, and a lot of people, what they what most people want to do is just say, well, I just accept a little bit of everything. Um, but um, that's not working. That's, um, that's um, if you're going to believe the Bible, then you got to believe that. If you're going to believe it all, then you're not believing the Bible. That's, you're not standing on, on, what's, on what's truth. So, you know, if you believe the communist is true and not that, then, you know, then, then do that. But see where it gets you because it's not... Um, a society can't stand when it has that kind of a shaky foundation. Um, it just doesn't work. Um, okay, so, and especially if, if you read the Bible, and um, it's, it's definitely not going to work. And I'm going to get to that um, in Romans 1. I'm going to hit to that pretty soon. Uh, I just want to hit 30 real quick. Um, oh, 20, 28, eliminate prayer from school. Well, they used to pray in school. Um, and now it's unheard of, but yeah, they used to do that all the time. Um, number 30, discredit the founding fathers. You know, the statues are being pushed down. Uh, 32, control, control over culture, like the schools, the, the uh, TVs, and um, the, the different um, organizations, the social workers, and things like that. So, um, it, which is why we see schools um, teaching a lot of these things, the school, we have to be careful because the school is teaching a lot of this. And there's no, the teachers don't usually know what they're doing, but it, it has infiltrated into our culture and our colleges so much that they're actually teaching this. Um, and discredit the family and promote divorce. And, and this is some, this is just, these are just a few things, but there's 45 agendas there. And if you ever go root, read through it, you'll see, like, wow, they're winning. So ultimately, God's going to win, and that's what we have to always, you know, remind ourselves if we get discouraged or if you're not sure there is a God. Um, it's pretty, um, the, the prophecies that are being fulfilled talk about how society is going to go in this direction and how it's going to really confuse a lot of people. So anyway, um, Stop Common Core in Oregon is just one of the websites that, or one of the Facebook pages that I would encourage you to like. Um, parents' rights and education. Um, there's all kinds of things. The, the most important thing is that we need to be vigilant in what we see, have our kids learn. Um, and if we don't, aren't careful, they're going to learn all kinds of things that we disagree with. Um, so let's see, where are we at here? Um, Mayor de Blasio announces uh, pre-3 to kindergarten for all. I guess that would be in New York. Um, basically what it does is it, the, 
the common core common core is actually um, you know is, is mentioned it's really it has all the communist tentacles in it definitely not Christianity tentacles so it just gives them a chance <clears throat> to um, mold and shape a child's mind even when they're younger so we got to be careful that doesn't happen um, and at this point you know just getting really involved and just being willing to fight um, you know on the school board or actually um, if you can't or don't want to do that or whatever you know um, go talk to them see if you can change their minds or, or I would recommend you know putting your kids through a private school or um, something where you know anyway um, and we can link to here this is a three-tiered system describing, you know, describing um, what they're trying to, um, how they're trying to mold and shape your kids. So when you go to school, they have right here, um, you know, if you stand out as not following their agenda, then they will try to, um, they'll, they'll give you a name and they'll try to re-educate um, your mind. <laughs> And then they'll, you know, bring you up there. But it's 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 an agenda that um, in Common Core that they're actually trying to um, make sure that your child follows their belief system, not necessarily what you want them to believe. And so that's just one of the things. So the the point is, is I really want to encourage you to to be involved in in, in your child's education, as I'm um, mentioning. Okay, so let's go to Romans one because we're going to see in Romans one that it is. Um, where we are in life right now. Okay, so it says here in Romans 1, for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and all unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. Okay, so um, when, they're, when they're not accepting, um, when they're not allowing, let's say, the Bible to be read in school or teachers to even talk about their faith, but they're allowing other things um, that are completely ungodly they're suppressing the truth and unrighteousness because what may be known of God is manifest to them for God has shown it to them for since the creation of the world his invisible attributes are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made even his eternal power and Godhead so that they are without excuse because all they they knew God they did not glorify him as God or were thankful but became futile in their thoughts and their foolish hearts were darkened professing to be wise, they became fools. So, um, in other words, they they knew of him. You know, they might have even called themselves Christian. You know, hey, do you believe in God? You know, yes, I believe in God. I mean, there's a lot of people that believe in God, but they don't, um, they don't, really, they don't glorify him. They're not thankful. You know, think gratitude and thankfulness is really a, a way to God's heart, actually, and um, a way to a good life. Um, but a lot of people don't care to do that, and so what happens is their <clears throat> thoughts become um, darkened. So you don't really think of God much, and so you, you walk that out in your everyday life. Um, and they change the glory of incorruptible God to an image made like corruptible man and birds and four-footed animals and creepy things. Therefore God also gave them up to uncleanliness, to the lust of their hearts, to dishonor their bodies, who who among themselves who exchanged the truth of God for a lie and worshiped and served the creature rather than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. So what does it sound like when you worship the um, creation rather than the creator? You know, it sounds like, you know, Mother Earth worship or, um, you know, global warming. We need to take care of the planet. I mean, there's nowhere in the Bible where it talks about global warming whatsoever. Um, the earth is heated eventually through... Um, um, you know, signs in the heavens and, and things that happen um, because of man's sin. It's, it's really the opposite of what we're learning about, and you know, in political correct society now and in schools. They're learning that actually man has something to do with it. And yes, you know, it is through our sin. But, you know, we've totally exchanged the truth, truth for a lie. Um, as a society goes, worshiping Mother Earth rather than Father God. And for this reason, God gave them over to vile passions. Even the woman exchanged natural use for what is against nature. Likewise, the men, leaving their natural use for a woman, um, burn in their lust for one another. Men with men, committing what is shameful and receiving in themselves the penalty of an error which was due 
And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to debase mind to those which are not fitting. So um, 